guys, today we will add Redux in our application. Redux is a JavaScript library used to easily manage state over all the applications. For small applications like this, we can also use React Context API. But I will use Redux here. First of all we have to install our required dependencies. npmi react-redux redux redux-thunk redux devtools extension While this is taking time install, so let move to our code. Create a folder for Redux related things named Redux. Where we will have our store. Or state configuration. After that create two more folders. Inside Redux. Named Actions. And Reducers. And also create a file store.js. Create a file index.js inside reducers folder. Import combine reducers from Redux in this file. And export it default with some configuration which we will add very soon. Now inside store.js, add following code. Import create store and apply middleware from Redux library. We also need to import provider from React-Redux. Import thunk from Redux thunk. In last, we need to import compose with DevTools. Now, we will create our global store by using create store method. This create store method receives two parameter, combined reducers and some middleware. Import reducers we just created from reducers folder. Then, we will create our custom provider. It's a high level function. This will receive the children props. And returns provider from React Redux. With store as an attribute and children as a children. Now let export this data provider. This will be used to access the state globally. Now in our src index.js add data provider. Wrap our app component with data provider.
Now create a new file for the page related inside the actions folder. I will name it pageaction.js and create page reducer.js inside reducers folder. In pageaction.js let's add types. It is important to have some fixed type for a single task in the whole application. There are many ways to do that. Some users try to add folder specific constants. Some users use action related constants. For each request we made to the server we will have a constant, like request send, error from server, success from server. So let's do it for page related. Now, we also create an action to make an API call to the server to load all pages. We will add content later. Now, it's time to add content in the page reducer. First of all we have to create our initial state, with initial values. In this we will create three variables. Loading. Error and to store all pages. Let's do it. Create a reducer for the page and export it as default. First argument will be the state. Woo's default value will be our initial state, we just create it. Second argument is action which will have its type and data to be updated in the state. This reducer function will have switch case for each action type. register this reducer. Now, it's time to see the demo. I'm using Redux DevTools. To verify state and changes it is very helpful tool. Here you can see we have page store and state. This is what we needed. Let also add some cases in our reducer for each action. Add missing import. Now, for each case we will update our state. For request send, we will change list page loading to true and else will be same. For page request error we will set list page error value to action.error. And rest will be same. 
for success. We will change pages array to action.pages and rest will be same. That's it here. Now we will add code in our page load. First of all we will trigger request send action. To do so we will use dispatch and pass type of Janet. The object we passed here must have type key. And rest whatever data you want to store. I have copied the code from editor to make an API call to server, to load all pages. When this will be complete then we will dispatch success or error as needed. For success, we will pass the type in pages key with response.data value, which contains all the pages. For the error part, we will send type an error object. We need to load pages on home and editor so. I will send a request to the server in the app.js file. First we need to import use dispatch from React Redux. Then create a dispatch function from it. Use a React hooks to make API call. Now, we will call our page load like this. We can also call like this too. But, I prefer first one. Now we can access the pages from the Redux store.
For the same we will use use selector. First we will get page store. Then we will load pages from it. Now, let remove old code and use this pages from store to be render on the UI. That's it. Now let's see a quick demo of it. Similarly, we will access the same on home. Let's check it. I hope you like the video. If you don't understand the flow of Redux then please let me know. I will create another video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and don't forget to subscribe.